Welcome, this is County of the Cost Ministries. I'm the Word Nerd. Let's dig deeper. If you are a new Christian looking for more information on your new walk with Christ, check out the little booklet, A Free PDF, A Christian's First Steps. It'll be linked in the description. Let's get into the video. So today we're going to do a demo on observation on how to gather background knowledge. So there's two steps to our observation and everything's going to be done on 2 Timothy 2.15. So that's what we're going to be gathering information on. If you watch my How to Study the Bible series on my channel, you'll know that gathering background knowledge, you must ask questions. And I gave a few examples here. And I think that some are more important than others because some are more essential to the interpretation. So you can see I'm circling some, but um, we're just going to get into it. So we're going to get into the first questions. Who wrote it? Who is speaking? And who are the recipients? So I go to the Blue Letter Bible. And since we're doing the verse mapping on 2 Timothy 2.15, we're going to look at 2 Timothy 1 to see if it gives us any information. And verse 1 says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God according to the promise of life. And the second is to Timothy, my dearly beloved son. And verse 3 says, I thank God. So Paul is talking, Paul wrote it, and it's to Timothy. So this answers our questions. This also gives an insight on what type of literature it is, but we're going to get in that to a moment. So right now we're going to answer the questions. So the answers to the questions are Paul, who wrote it, who is speaking, Paul, and who are the recipients, Timothy. And I like to put the verse that I found it in. The next question is, when was it written? So the best way to figure this out is you first need to figure out who Paul is if you don't already know. The best way to do that is search Paul in the blue letter Bible app, and you can see here that it pops up every time the word Paul is used. Now it says on Acts 13 that, then Saul, who also is known as Paul. So now you need to search who Saul is and where his first mention is. Now, it's going to go through to the Old Testament because Saul is a popular name in the Old and, you know, first king of Israel. So there's a lot of that. And I know that you can uh, search only like the New Testament. Um, I didn't know how to do it on the app because I use the desktop version a lot, but I wanted to record what I was doing. So I'm scrolling until I hit Acts. So here, Acts, you can see that Saul is first mentioned in Acts 8, I think. So if you start to read there, um, you'll notice that Saul is actually someone that persecuted and killed Christians, met Jesus, um, Jesus appeared to him, and then he became saved. So since we know that Pentecost is happened on Acts 8, Two, we know that this is after Pentecost and that's where if you watch my videos previously that's where you really want to do is a time period not like this was written in 66 AD which I actually think scholars give this but it's time period what's really important so it was written after Pentecost so that's the real important so the next one is what what is the literary style and what is the theme you can see that the literary style from the before is that it's an epistle which is in a letter that's giving instructions so next is the theme, and this is what you get for reading the whole book. You can pause that and read that, but basically I just got it from the entire book of 2 Timothy. So we're going to move on. So why was it written? So this is something that you're going to have to do a lot more research on. So basically what you need to do is look up the word Timothy. Now, I know that Timothy is translated not just as Timothy, but the best way to do this is to look up Timothy, then click on one of the passages and then go to interlingual so we're going to look at the greek word timothy on what it's been translated to so you scroll down and click on timothy and it's going to pop up the greek so then you can see that timothy in greek is translated as timothy and timothus i think that's how you pronounce it i can't pronounce words um, so you can see that you also need to look up Timothus to figure out where Timothy is first mentioned. And if you scroll down, it'll actually give it to you. So you'll see that Timothus is actually mentioned in Acts. So just doing a, a little background info, Paul met Timothy on one of his journeys to the churches while preaching the gospel. And so Timothy became one of his really good friends in the faith. And 
Um, so why was it written basically is Paul needed a friend and he knew that his time was almost up. He was ready to give his life for the faith. Other people have deserted him and, you know, Titus and others, which is found in Second Timothy 4, that they were away doing, you know, other work for the Lord. So Luke was with him, but Paul wanted someone else to be with him, knowing that it was his last probably days or whatever. And Timothy was his fellow worker, which is mentioned in Romans. Uh, Paul calls him a son in the faith, mentioned in 1 Corinthians. And Paul could say, I have no one else like-minded in Philippians. And so uh, you can tell that Paul longed for Timothy uh, in 2 Timothy 1 and 2 Timothy 4. So that's basically what you have to do with gathering background information. It's just a lot of research, but it's totally worth it if you're really looking to how to interpret the Bible correctly and really digging deeper. So I hope this video helped you, and I hope this video encouraged you to dig deeper. I'm the Word Nerd, and this is Counting the Cost Ministries. Remember the free booklet. And also, if you would like to keep up with what I'm studying, I am very active on Instagram, so you can go follow me over there. Thanks.